Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Debbie Weiss, and I'm here to help you navigate the cesspool that is middle-aged dating. Um, and today what I want to talk about is what I would like you to know about dating a widow. I was widowed in 2013 after uh, 32 years of marriage, and uh, it was very strange to start dating again. Um, and sometimes men were a little confused by the difference maybe between dating someone who's widowed and dating someone who's divorced. And sometimes people also have kind of assumptions about what a widow is like, and I, and I want to talk a little about that today. Um, for one thing is we are widowed, we're not single, and we prefer being called widowed because we didn't choose to lose our husbands. Um, we loved our husbands, and this isn't the situation that we thought we would be in. Um, I think we might have a little bit less sympathy for guys who bash their exes because we would give anything to have our late husbands back. Um, so we're probably a little less sympathetic to folks who are negative on their exes. Although in general, being negative on a first date isn't a good idea. Um, one thing I dealt with is people thought I would be just overwhelmingly sad, but that's not really the case. I mean, we're sad. Widows get sad like everybody else. Um, sometimes when certain songs come on, but not particularly more so than anybody. Um, we want to find joy in our lives. In fact, having been widowed and cared for my husband as he passed from cancer, what I was looking forward to was finding some joy again and finding some enjoyment. Um, so I think that's not really anything to worry about. We're not going to burst into tears on you. Um, and most of us talk about a variety of topics, again, just like anybody else. One thing that has been a problem is sometimes people are afraid to ask us about our spouses or they're really uncomfortable when we talk about them. But, you know, that's just a fact of our lives. Um, for example, I was with my late husband for 32 years, starting with my high school prom. So it was really hard not to talk about someone who's been in your life for 32 years. It's not threatening. We're over them for the most part um, in terms of being ready to start a new relationship. But it is something that we like to talk about and we get very uncomfortable when when folks don't like that. Um, I, another issue I've had is men were sort of concerned I was looking to replace my spouse, like they were sort of looking around my house and thinking I expected home maintenance or um, help with paying the bills. And that's not the case at all. We're just as independent as anybody else. We're not looking to replace our spouses. And again, like a, every other dater, there's a whole spectrum of what a widow would want from someone who is looking to get married again to someone like me who was originally, you know, married to her high school sweetheart. And when I first started dating, I was just looking to see what's out there and experiment. So there's no set goal that a widow have versus any other dater. Um, one problem I did have when I started dating is that I think some men thought widows, especially a widow like me who was middle-aged, been in a long marriage, was incompetent or naive. That's not true. Um, again, just like everyone else, we have careers, we're savvy. And like a lot of women on their own, um, we've developed our own skills and don't need anyone to tell us how to organize our lives. Um, another one more problem. I certainly have met men generally a little older, different generation, a little older than I am, who have assumed that a widow might be more subservient more easy to get along with. Hell no, I am really hard to get along with. Um, it was funny though, because I did date an older, very successful man who said, well, you've been in a long marriage, so you know how to get along with a man. And this man in question was extraordinarily difficult to get along with. He was a very negative, complaining, unhappy individual. So no, a widow is not gonna be more subservient. Um, we're apt to be, uh, stick up for ourselves just like everybody else and need less guidance in life. The thing though is, in terms of dating a widow, we have a lot of really great traits. I mean, we've been in long relationships, so we know what it takes to sustain a relationship. And I think we know also that the real relationship starts when the infatuation ends. That's when you start to really find love. And that's something we're aware of. You know, I'm probably 
in a long-term relationship less apt to run away or be concerned if things aren't perfect because a marriage wasn't perfect. And we know that. And also having been in a long relationship, I know the value of empathy and listening and being supportive, which is a trait you have to earn with me. It's not something I offer automatically because I wanna be married again, but it is something people, widows can offer because we know what it's like to try to be some support, be somebody else's support and be there for them. So in conclusion, don't shy away from dating the widowed. We are just as independent and strong and funny as everybody else. And we have a whole spectrum of wants, just like everybody else. But I also think you'll find that we can be loyal and great listeners. And I hope this helped navigate the cesspool that is middle-aged dating. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.